let's <laughs> uh, go down here. Just waiting for it to start. I, and I believe you are live. Are we live? Live and alive. Oh, we are live and alive. Awesome. Yep. Very, very cool. Very Hey folks, Jerome Forestwood here with Asa from Go Go Go, and uh, yeah, we're over here at English Bay Beach right now, and we're gonna head on along Denman Street and then up the Stanley Park Causeway and over the Lionsgate Bridge. And if we need to get a better signal, we might dash out to the <laughs> seawall before we go over the bridge. We'll figure that out from there, and then if we have time, we'll head on over to Park Royale, but if we don't, we'll end the stream there. So anyways, folks, so feel free to come along with us right now and we'll see yeah. what's going on in Vancouver. It's beautiful everywhere. <laughs> it's just Absolutely. ridiculous. Okay, so there's English Bay Beach right you folks. Right there. Okay. And you can see it's a very busy day here on the seawall path. Not packed yet, but it will be packed later. So you come out today, come on out, check it out. Yeah, why not? It is a blustery day. Not too blustery. You can see all the nice ships out there in English Bay Beach right now. Or a crowd in English Bay. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, I would be horrified if the ships were on the English Bay Beach. <laughs> First of all, they would take up all of the beach area and more. And that would be probably the aftermath of some cataclysm <laughs> that might have just made those ships <laughs> come ashore. But They're yeah. not coming in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Th that would be scary if the ship not actually. Not some crazy sci fi program. <laughs> yeah. Not an episode of Wi Fi. No, not. But that's like a cool kind of channel there. It's fun for a Rob to just go and watch. Ridiculous, that's funny definitely. stories. Oh, yeah. If you're interested in sci-fi, the Y files is just fun. They're on YouTube. Yeah, there's nothing no crazy on there. No there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just silly. Just silly, crazy stories. Most of the time at the end, they'll be like, so is the story true? And they'll be like, well, no. It's Not fiction. really. Because <laughs> it's a story. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. It's a story and it's uh, not going to be true. That's for sure. Yeah. Ooh, and the here we are walking are up the seawall oh, path. Wow. Look at that. Wow. They did a great job. Check yes. that out. So Looks many beautiful. blue and flowers here in Vancouver. There's the Alberta beef stand. Good. And we're we across be Beach Ave. Lots of people cycling and scootering around. Yeah, we'll head up the other side of Denman Street where there's the Mediterranean Grill and stuff because I've been on the other side a few times. <laughs> the laughing guys. Yeah, here's the laughing man over here, iconic of Vancouver. Uh, <laughs> That's just what it is. It is Tourist what it is. Tourist spot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely part of the bucket list, I guess. Yeah. And the street next to us is actually just a plaza. It's part of Morton Park. It's a Davy Plaza at 1800 Davy. An old part of Davy Street that's now part of Morton Park. And we'll cross Denman Street here Beautiful along Davy. Yeah. Busy day. And then head on down Denman Street over to the Stanley Park Causeway, otherwise known as the Lionsgate Bridge. Yeah. It's not a uh, bridge to Terabithia, it's a bridge to North Vancouver. <laughs> and West Vancouver. Technically it's right yeah. sitting there on the border between West, West Vancouver. West Vancouver is like the yeah. uh, unloved uh, middle child of the mm -hmm. Vancouvers. You know, North, you know, regular. West Vancouver. Everybody often talks about West Side Vancouver. The reason they're saying side is because West Vancouver is a totally different city across the harbor. Yeah, West End, for instance, it's a uh -huh. neighborhood. There's West Point. Great. There's a lot of East and West here. They were not really creative with names. <laughs> so it's a little a lot of West Eats and a lot of Kings and Queens. Yeah, Dumb. that's true. <laughs> they have an expressway, road and street, all named after Queen. Queen Street, Queen Expressway, QEW. Yeah, they got the same thing in Toronto, yeah. Yeah. So, they got King George, King Edward over here. You can say a much over Every area Every single too. subway station has a trees. King George wow. or a George station. St. George or King George station. Like we have King George over here in Surrey. Mm -hmm. And then there's St. George over in Bloor downtown Toronto. 
You should do a day trip to Surrey sometime. Yeah, I love to try some good Surrey food. And as you can see, folks, today we are doing a vertical live stream as part of the vertical live stream program with Google. So it's a part of the outreach for us and part of Google asking us to do this is our new? YouTube. Nice to you, or they just put up this nice little thing. Ooh. Is it new? It is so new. So the goncha has turned into a nice, nice tea. It has changed brands. Oh, nice. You heard that first here on <laughs> Drill Force. Wow. I guess first time for you. <laughs> First time for me, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Obviously, they changed they it a long time they, ago. They they discovered you discovering it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Like whenever, like my first time in Prospect Boy, for instance, it oh, was yeah. awesome. But like, I wish I filmed myself discovering. You weren't the first person there. You're like, I discovered Prospect Boy. Well, well yeah, you did. On my own perspective, <laughs> yeah, specifically. I explored that little spot. I have to. Yeah, so of course, as part of Google and YouTube, they want us to do vertical live streams. And it helps us on uh, Jerome Forest reach out to more people who watch on their phones in a different format that they might be more comfortable with. So yeah. we're giving it a try and helping out YouTube, figuring out how to fine tune this thing. And of course, a lot of streamers have been asked that. And you may have been even asked that if you were just a small channel owner yourself. Yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. I would say if it helps uh, get traction, gets a little bit of more eyeballs on your content, go for mm -hmm. it. So uh, after this vertical live stream, we'll go back to the landscape live streams for the next few streams, and then we'll try it again in another few days. Yeah, why not? Go for it. Mm -hmm. So we're on Demon Street here right now regularly on this street. It's one of my favorite streets in the city. Yeah, we're across the street from that awesome H&R Block. Oh yeah, H&R Block over there. That one's a really helpful H&R Block. They actually do a good job. You can check that guy. And the guy in the window who sits there, huh. he's one of the best ones in oh, that Oh, definitely helped block. us out. So mm -hmm. yeah, awesome person, awesome help, yeah. And some friends who recommended, well, you know what, if you want to get some your taxes done in a good way by someone who does it good. Just head on down to H and R Block. Whoever services yeah. you is going to do you a good job down here on Diamond Street. So he hucked it all the way down here from UBC, and we were pleasantly surprised. I think we're too. <laughs> Go nuts! Oh yeah, I have to come here for eat. It's of course Ayub's, the local Ayub's dry nuts. fruit space. Yeah, the over little, here on Demon Street. Oh yeah, dry fruits and nuts and stuff. So good, 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 good. Uh, good. They sell. Oh, well, they Ongba. sell all the like, dry fruit. Yeah. Our favorite place Here's to Ongba. eat a bami. <laughs> they wave it back to us. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're super friendly, super nice. Mm -hmm. Staff is amazing. They go above and beyond, which is something you don't see a lot. Yeah, you honest. don't see that every day, to be honest with you. Howdy, howdy, a few other people have come on the stream. We're doing a vertical format today. We'll return to landscape for a few more streams after this one. And we're walking down Devon Street. Yeah, you probably might have discovered this little stream on your short stream, because that's what they want to do. Put yeah. up more live streams on their short stream or mm -hmm. Reels uh, page, so that <laughs> more people can discover more creators, which I think is an interesting way for people awesome. to switch things up. Yeah, it gives, me, it gives me an opportunity once a week just to like change it up, which is pretty nice. <laughs> With early cherry blossom, the, the, they're also uh, dying off early. That means it's, a, it's an early summer. But yeah, it's sad to see the cherry trees bare and dry. Well, but again, there's going to be another we will, batch. We will see one more batch of cherry trees. There's three cherry trees going right now. The second cherry tree is blooming while the first cherry tree leaf our petals have fallen off and now they just have leaves. Yeah. So, yeah. And we're over here by the Joe Forte's branch of the Vancouver Public Library. Joe Forte sounds like, like, a, a, like a grocery store or something. Joe Forte's is a lifeguard at Denman Beach. Huh? Or, uh, well, it was English Bay Beach <laughs> on Denman Street there. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. 
Way back in the 40s or 30s or 40s, yeah? He's even got a little uh, person flash, has a flash Vinny? to his name over in Alexander Park, yeah. The person uh, had a, a very nice name that you can put into literally any product endorsement and it just fits with it. Oh yeah, Joe there's Forte's a restaurant coffee name. There's would a... sound great. Joe Forte's uh, grocery store sounds reliable. Joe Forte's like a uh, convenience store. And why oh, that's they the have the name copyrighted just yeah. so that they can profit off of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would definitely make sense. There's a steak and seafood restaurant over on Thurlow Street at Thurlow and Robson. That oh is a legend and it's called Joe Forte's. Oh. Definite staple. A lot of people end up going there. So yeah, so, I it's guess. It's got good reviews. I haven't been there myself Yeah. in a long time. <laughs> it's been around forever though. I was in there at one point in time in the past. <laughs> some point in time, somewhere. Some point. <laughs> uh. Right down here over by Chun Chun. Rice hot dog across the street as well as Mr. Cool down there. Yeah, our viewers, this place so. doesn't look that busy right now, but yeah. trust me, around sunset, Mr. when cool Muslims will be, yeah, oh my gosh, it'll it gets up. so busy. People who are mm -hmm. breaking their fast all show hey, up. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Vancouver, it's being awesome. There's Mr. Cool down there one more time for you folks. One of the best uh, down air shops in town. And then over here is Chun Chun Rice Dog. And when I say one of the best, it's not the only one that does a good job. There's, a, there's other places too that do good jobs, but definitely that one is on the list. There's your bike shop rentals, you got electric yeah. scooters, regular bikes, e-bikes. This is bike rental row here. If you check on the hood maps <laughs> online, it'll, there's a little line here saying people renting bikes <laughs> in this part of the neighborhood. And uh, you know, locals have referred to it as bike rental. There's a quad road. bike for if two people gonna go for a ride. There's together. a quad bike. Yeah. Sorry. Oh wow! Look at this. A no, no, not this one. Uh, there, a two seater. This is a two seater. But like, there are quad bikes with more than. Oh, they two. have four seats. Yeah. Ah. I mean, Downey, who is also a big. local uh, content creator, has been really popularizing uh, quad bikes mm -hmm. in Vancouver. So I know, like, uh, more people have done it. It is a dumb thing for four people to coordinate, so the chances of falling off of it are higher than anything else. In your opinion. If In my opinion. If it's something you want to try, I'll well, give it a try. <laughs> It'd be interesting Just to see the coordination on that. I would not be good in a group of four on a four on a four seater. I'd be the one who'd be like cycling in the wrong way or stuff like that, you know? Yeah, it takes it's a like, lot of Are we supposed to backpedal now? Now forward? What? <laughs> I believe uh, quad bikes are literally made for people who are in a uh, either a throuple or a polygamous relationship. There's many of them. They are all in sync. Ah! That is like the idea of the Just bike. Just spokes here for you folks. You don't have to be in a poly relationship to ride a quad bike, but it probably helps. Folks is one of just many of those bike rental spots along there, but it does have some of the largest selection, e-scooters as well. I'm Here's ha Georgia. I'm happy the mountain top has some more snow slips. Oh um, yeah. Well, some of them are gonna have snow all year round, but most of them down here that we can see from here, eventually the snow will burn off, but luckily the skiers can get a few more uh, laps in before it's totally yeah. gone. Yeah, so that's positive. And we're going to head on down into Stanley Park now and go to the Stanley Park Causeway. And again, if we do start to experience a signal issue, just let us know and we might have to pull on over to the seawall path for a bit yeah. and then walk up the trail to the bridge. <laughs> but we'll try to go down the causeway because there, uh, there isn't a lot of videos on the causeway and we want to have a, a live stream there and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. We haven't streamed uh, in this area ever together. No, not I mean, together. We did I've been here a lot no, by we myself. We did seawall, but like never actually go towards the causeway or anything. Oh, yeah. So we're just waiting for the light to change here. Again, this is Denman Street and, West, and Georgia. West Georgia. And West Georgia will quickly turn into the Stanley Park Causeway, also known on Google Maps as Lionsgate Bridge or Lionsgate Road, Bridge Road. Yeah. So, there's two names for it. And we'll walk through Stanley Park right now for you. It's Head. always a pleasure to walk around Stanley Park. It's 
so mm -hmm. peaceful. Hopefully there'll be lots of birds. But there'll be a lot of car sounds too. You can already see the daytime. It's starting to pile up over here. She's busy. Let's oh, go yeah. to her first. This is, uh, read the sign for us. It's Search. It's called Search? Uh, by Seward Johnson Jr. Sculptor Washington, oh, D.C. Oh, because she's searching in her purse, eh? Oh, cool. Seems I'm... like things that I cannot mention on the stream. <laughs> sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Not part of the sculpture. <laughs> yeah. You can just say glorious editions. Glorious editions. <laughs> There's a cute birdie one. Looks like a peacock almost. Oh, this is a bird sculpture? Very I don't cool. know what it is a sculpture of. Well, usually it's what you think it is. It does look like a wing. So yeah, look at that mountain view right there, folks. Ooh, that is pretty beautiful. Stellar. That looks so cute. Yeah, and that's hanging over Devonian Park and Stanley Park. Devonian Park's in our foreground right now. And it blends into Stanley Park. Stanley Park is uh, designated a National Heritage Site here in Canada. Didn't know that until a couple of days ago, found that out. But it is run by the City of Vancouver, so it's also a city park. And has a separate mm -hmm. park boats running it, so yeah. it has two different jurisdictions fighting on it. Mm -hmm. Which is so Canadian, so you know, it's Canada. Yeah. <laughs> With National Historic Sites, of course, you can have anywhere from federal park staff to just a plaque and I'm assuming since we have the parks board over here already yeah. whether you like it or not there is a little bit of a debate about it right now but uh, they are the ones who run the park and there's probably just a plaque and maybe someone comes in once in a while and makes yeah. sure oh, this bird. area is good. What bird is this? Oh that's a little robin right there. Huh? I don't know if people got it or not. It's cute. No, it's a little dark, but hey, whatever. We tried. <laughs> hey, this is the little, no, not this spot, but around this spot is uh, across the little uh, bridge. This so is there are part sea of the, lions uh, hang out. Yeah, the sea lions in the wintertime, not in the summertime. The sea lions hang out over just across this little marshy area in that bridge. This little spot is a great little habitat for the smaller birds. Oh, yeah. Marsh, so, the marshland here? Yeah. And that gives people in Vancouver the opportunity you gotta, uh, to see some birds to Stanley they've never Park seen. Sign. There's the park sign right there for you, folks. Welcome to Stanley Park. So we are now leaving Devonian Park, and we are now in Stanley Park. Welcome to Stanley Park. And here are the thugs of the neighborhood. <laughs> the locals. The locals. The geese. Let's be honest. They're part of the police. They. Uh, <laughs> the parks police. They keep the peace. <laughs> you know. This is the kind of energy you have when you are the apex predator in a certain way. Because in Stanley Park, you don't have any sort of bears or anything. So it's just... You have coyotes, but like a goose can take on a coyote, no problem. Yeah. So Their they are literally are so the apex strong. predators out here. And they uh -huh. just hang out just like that. Which way are we going? <laughs> so we're just going to follow this path. I am following you. I think that uh, <laughs> they think this goes underground. Okay, well, we'll figure it out as we go. Oh, we might have to just walk back up. Oh, it looks like we can cross, so let's cross and follow the road, because that's our plan for today. But that is the tunnel I always use to go from downtown Vancouver side, if I'm crossing the seawall path <laughs> on this side, to uh, West End side and over to Barad mm -hmm. Bridge on my way back to UBC. This is the tunnel to the lagoon, the last lagoon. Yeah. Actually, you can see the powerhouse is open right now. Wow. Oh, work. They're actually working. Yeah, there's Careful probably security bikes. in there right now. Yeah, we got to watch out for bikes as we cross the road. And skates and boarders and scooters. Anything on wheels that is uh, manual or light electric. So, of course, if you got a 9-volt Segway scooter, you can ride that on the seawall now these days, too, ever since a few days ago when they announced you could. Officially. Yeah, before you could, too. <laughs> No one, no one ever did anything to you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, unofficially. And the police are like, well, we need a, uh, you know a law in place if we have to enforce it. And they're like, no, we'll just let it happen. <laughs> That's the I'm law gonna, we'll pass. I'm going to start filming from this point onwards for my Go, Go, Go channel. You want to start out those uh, seats there like Jerome Forrester does? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I need to set, I don't really need to set it up. I just need to start it, uh, make sure that it's rolling, and then we just walk by. And I have to yeah. also hook it up to the little power cord thing just to make sure uh, halfway through it just doesn't die out. Because <laughs> these cameras, when you film in 4K, uh, HD, it does eat up a little bit of more energy. Yeah, that's true, especially on the DJI Pocket 2 that you have. There's a bigger, longer extension on the DJI Pocket 3, which I was able to afford. Thank you to channel members who helped donate to make oh, that yeah, happen. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was greatly appreciated. Would not have happened without you folks. I got a lot of private donations for that one after telling people it was coming out. So thank you very much. That and is okay, so okay, the park is huge and it looks like a beautiful day. You can spend literal hours in the park. Well, we're going to go in and we're going to see how it is, okay, along the causeway today, which is this road right here. Yeah. We haven't seen a lot of videos of people walking along the causeway and we also just wanted to walk along the causeway and across the bridge. So that's what we're going to try yeah. to do today. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Of course, if we miss anything, you can go to Asif's channel, go, 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 and catch anything that we may have missed. <laughs> yeah, people seem to love these exploration videos, so, eh? So they hey, love to see the city. So for your channel, hey, guess what? This is Jerome Forrester here with Asif from Go, Go, Go. <laughs> I just didn't even realize yeah. I can just turn the flip the camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you hey guys, this is Asif place. and welcome to Go Go Go. Today is an exploration video, so I'll be walking across uh, Vancouver, North Vancouver's very famous, iconic Lionsgate Bridge. So come along. I'm actually doing a collab with Jerome Forrest. Hey, how's it going? I'm live streaming right now. So hey. <laughs> While Jerome live streams, I will be following him and we'll be crossing the iconic bridge. So come along. Yeah. Let's see how things go. Anyways, Daniel, thank you for uh, joining the stream. It's good to see you on the stream. Is that where we need to be? Yeah, that's actually where we need to be. We have to be careful, no cars <laughs> or anything. Yeah, that is absolutely right. You need to be careful when you're walking onto the sidewalk of the causeway. Cars do move quite fast here. And especially if someone's had a long day at work or something like that and they're tired and they might want to go to the Rose Garden in that direction, well, then they might just, they zoom in quick sometimes. So, it's good to be safe, and that way everyone's safe. Here's some of the cherry trees that are done their bloom. You can see a few white spots on them, but pretty much done. And we'll, we'll see some more cherry trees in the second bloom phase that's happening here in Vancouver, and maybe catch a few in the third bloom phase. The bloom is early this year, by two weeks, and that's just because we had a warm spell in March, and it happens every every few years. So that is causing a problem for some of those events, unlike the Big Picnic, who schedule on a set time, as opposed to the Big Picnic that's, that happens in David Lamb Park each year. That happens whenever it starts to get nice with the cherry blossoms in the park. <laughs> you oh, can go wow. to my back catalog to check that out. Well, look at that little spot over there. The meadow looks stunning. Yeah, this is the meadow below the rose garden. And you can see a bunch of tulips out here. Got a cyclist behind us. Sorry. <laughs> They do get a little angry from time to time because, well, they don't realize they have to respect cyclists. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think this will be easier at this well. point onwards because we are uh, separating yeah, at this point onwards. Yeah, we're separating here. So we're on the walking path and they're on the cycling path. At that point, it was the uh, same. It was where it was starting to merge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we're on the opposite side. We should be on oh, this side. So we need to be on this side now. And that's the bike path. There oh, isn't a clear signage, but it's uh, mentioned here. So we at least have this little... Yeah, you can see it on the path every once in a while. That's so yeah, doing. share the path. Share the path. <laughs> There's a sign right there for you. It's a beautiful magnolia tree here. 
Looks like a thinner one. It'll get thicker as the years go on. And here we are on the causeway. <laughs> so this is our adventure for today. It's crazy how uh, busy this is in the middle of all of this beautiful nature. Oh yeah. That is just crazy. You can see some of the taller trees in the background. These are This huge. vertical format's great for this because yeah. they're just walking down the street. They can see the street and they can see part of the top of the trees. Wouldn't necessarily be able to see that as well if I was doing yeah. the landscape format. Yeah, with the camera zoom lens and everything going around, uh, this is actually a great way to experience mm -hmm. The 44 this. comes all the way over here? Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. The 44 goes all the way over. The I other think, way to uh, UBC and the 44 goes to area. Phibs Exchange, eh, right? Oh, it goes to Phibs Exchange? Yeah. I gotta jump on that one day. That'll be a quick way to get on over there. I'm sure there's a lot of stops between UBC and uh, <laughs> the, this road, but after that, just clear sailing. Yeah. Direct bus links from North Vancouver and West Vancouver to UBC is strained just because everything needs to go through several mm -hmm. bridges and neighborhoods. So yeah, <laughs> I hope someday they have a ferry service like Lonesdale that takes people directly from UBC campus uh, and ferry them over to West Vancouver and North Vancouver. That would actually be practical. Oh, and like a, a dedicated ferry from there, yeah. yeah. That would also be used by tourists and locals too. Yeah. That means that you could have an office. Oh, this in is some so areas beautiful. that have some open office space there now. <laughs> Very cool. Keep walking here. You can see there's some people out here right now walking along the path. Yeah, it's a busy day. As uh, it gets uh, hotter and more tourists show up, more ferries show up, it'll just get, get it's just gonna get busier and busier. Yeah. I can't wait to film this on my electric scooter next time. Yeah. Looks like the bars are holding up, so that's good too. I mean, it shouldn't be a big issue. Like, we should be able to stream through. With yeah, the but there's connection. some spots oh, yeah. within the park where you can get into dips and hills and stuff like that. And just because of where you're located, you just don't get a good signal. But over here, I'm expecting it to be fairly strong so that motorists are also connected, especially in the case of an emergency. Yeah. Also, it's one of the world's busiest and most important There's shipping alleyways. Yeah. Oh, Van yeah. Vancouver, Vancouver Port. Mm -hmm. Port of Vancouver. And we'll be able to see some of that because we're walking on this side of the bridge today. Yeah. This That's is, actually kind of cool. This is actually what you want. You want yeah. to be on this side so you can get the well, port and the cities. Uh, well, if you're walking towards the east or west van, I would say yeah. walk this way. If you're returning, the other way. Go on the other side? Yeah. yeah. If you want to know what it looks like on the other side, you can check that out on my in my back catalog. I've walked across the bridge a few times oh, down, yeah. down here. This is insane. I mean, usually when you're on a bus, around. you cross this little mm -hmm. uh, strip immediately, so you don't actually experience how um, I don't know long this actual road is up to the bridge. <laughs> There goes the 257, that'll be heading all the way over to Horseshoe Bay. Bay. Yeah. Oh, I love this park. All oh, the cedar trees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Stanley Park is peaceful. That's the thing that really separates it from anything else. It's, it's a large urban space that doesn't feel urban. That's the whole point of it. It's 
a way to back into nature for those who are so I, I, I would say most people, even if you're working like yeah. a manual job, you're looking at a screen all day. So it's good to, you know, take yeah, a break from all of the screens. a lot of the times, screens. even if you're working a manual job, you still have, you're using a tool that has a screen on it. You have to change the settings, so you're yeah. constantly looking at that screen, yeah. It's definitely true. Like you got a bit of an encampment over here. Well, pass that and keep going. Two forty bus. Yeah, we'll just keep going. That one goes over to Lynn Valley, correct? Yeah. So there's buses coming from over here, going everywhere, going East Vancouver, yeah. North and North Vancouver, Things exchange. all the way over to Lynn Valley, maybe even Deep Cove as well, correct? Mm -hmm. Fibs Exchange, yeah. Actually, it's probably a Fibs Exchange. That's where the deep cold buses start. Mm -hmm. I have yet to go down to Fibs Exchange, which is a big transit something uh, like a location that I haven't done yet. I don't yet. think I've ever been over to Deep Cove, to be honest with you. I've never done to Lynn Valley, yeah. so we need to actually be on one of those buses and just go down there. Deep you know what? Cove's we should like definitely in the shadow of a mountain, so like... Yeah, While the sunny streak lasts, cool. let's go there uh, within a week and just explore some yeah. of that sunshine. No promises, folks, but... <laughs> yeah, but it'll be know, fun, our right? Our plans change, but yeah, that would yeah. definitely be fun. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> Comment below which parts of Vancouver and uh, Metro Vancouver you want to experience or watch. We would love some suggestions. Yeah, there might be an area that you, we haven't even thought about yet. Yeah. I do tend to do a lot more of the retail areas because that's what people want to watch. When I tend to go into a housing area, people watch that for about two minutes and then drop off. So we'll be focusing on the areas that people would want to watch. But if you have one of those recommendations, feel free to do it. And every once in a while I will walk through a residential area if I'm interested in seeing just what it looks like. Just for my cackles. <laughs> yeah, Metro Vancouver is an amazing mix of nature, commercial, residential, and even industrial uh, areas. Yeah. So, you got a comment what you want to see? It's also nice to mix it up from time to time. Exactly. So. Oh, wow. This is where they did a lot of the cutting. Yeah. You can see how clear and open it is here now. It's not as thick as it was last year. A few other spots we'll see with that right now. Yeah. Just cutting out some of the jetways. We finally made it to the overbridge mm -hmm. over Castanley Park. So. so we're almost there. Let's check the signal again. Yeah. It's holding up pretty good. It's still weak. There's it's an still access there. through the park right here. Wow. Oh, yeah. There's it's an okay access to Stanley park. park from here. At this point, though, we're just going to go over the bridge and the oh, signal. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Improve. No, no, no. That's for sure. I'm just saying for uh -huh. those who want to know. There's an access to the park from here as well. Oh yeah, we just passed it. <laughs> That's what I was telling folks, yeah. <laughs> oh man, and you have to manage all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, the bridge is getting busier. Cyclists are... It is unstable, folks. We'll reconnect. Don't worry about it. Aww. <laughs> Slow well, we down tried to something. pass pedestrian cyclists. It's still, it's still, it's side. still hooking up. It just got stronger again all of a sudden. So you know what, Signal? Stronger. For the mobile signal out here, I want you to channel Kelly Clarkson because I want you to grow stronger. Oh, uh, grow stronger by Kelly Clarkson. That's yeah. a nice song. Uh, what, you did, what doesn't break you makes you strong. stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we won't sing the whole thing for you. Yeah. <laughs> We'll spare you that order. <laughs> <laughs> and today on Jerome Forrest Swift, the horror story of the season. Jerome ah, singing. Sings the, uh, Jerome Oi, has to you sing can take your bike song. up this bridge too. I didn't know <laughs> oh, that. Oh yeah, there's spiral walk-ups here, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, I assume this is something someone... The part where you can come yeah. on down off the bridge and you spin around to go down the path. And that would be the... Lake, the lake trail right there and that'll take you over to uh, Beaver Lake which is actually a beaver pond and, there and there's a sign beaver right there that says Beaver Lake 
I guess it's all that stuff. And, uh, and yeah. for the clarification, it's Beaver and not Bieber. That was not a leg dug up by Justin Bieber. That is a natural animal beaver. I would be impressed, though, if he created a leg. Because <laughs> he wouldn't do it for free. Like, the city would have hired him. Okay, Justin Bieber, for a, for a nice little stunt to promote the city, we want you to dig an entire lake for us right now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy, right? <gasps> the beavers and the beavers all okay, pulling hands together, joining hands to build a lake. Oh wow, they chopped up quite a bit of tree. Yeah, and here's more of the cut for you. See what they did over here. They had a, a, several infected trees. Trees just get sick. It's just part of nature. So yeah, they were taking and out sometimes some of the dead, trees. Uh, dead sick trees catch fire. Yeah. So before uh, wildfire season, you need to cut a lot of them off. Mm -hmm. Clear them off so that they don't uh, yeah. uh, healthy trees to catch fire. And wildfires are a natural part of the trees here in Vancouver because a lot of the seeds will only seed once they experience fires up to 16,000 degrees. Wow, right? Yeah, or 1600 degrees, something like that. If it was 16,000 degrees, that would be that a lot be, hotter. That would be a <laughs> lot hotter. 1600, and then that burns off the outer coater, and then of course it gets protected in the fire, and then it starts to seed once the fire is done in the nice clean soil that's created from the fire. If it was 16,000, it'd probably burn a hole down to South Asia. <laughs> that would be problematic. It's like the power of a sun. Yeah. The concentrated power of the sun. Oh, wow. We are still not there just yet. Which just shows insane, right? Oh, yeah. Lucky for us, we're taking it slow and we're not rushing and running. <laughs> but those who are running, respect. Because this is... This is quite a hike. Quite a hike. I mean, we must be going uphill for a while now. Well, it's, it's uphill one way and downhill the other. That's just how bridges work. <laughs> We're now elevated. You can see into the park. That is the first little quiet break I got in a while. <laughs> you can see there's a cut over there as well. On the other side, trees are much thinner. Yeah. Keep walking here. So which one do you like better, Stanley Park Causeway or Lionsgate Bridge Road? Because it has the same name. <laughs> the bridge is called Lionsgate Bridge. So I would say 100 meters away from the bridge, call it Lionsgate Bridge. Yeah. Keep it to freaking West Georgia Street. Why change so many names? Uh, you I need to name it too. to Stanley Park Causeway then this bridge thing. I was like, keep it to West Georgia up till the, like, uh, the initial... The other side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make or at least simple. the bridge. They can still have a different name for the bridge. Like, it's Prince Edward Viaduct in Toronto, you know? So. Yeah. We were on sea level, that's why it feels we're definitely up high. Oh yeah, we've been gradually climbing up from sea the, level. <laughs> but the climb is very gradual, very gradual. But I can already feel the air is thinner, right? Like you can literally feel the difference of air yeah. up and down by the sea Got level. a little cooler up here. Definitely. But it's nice. I would uh, highly recommend this little uh, walk. Just because what is uh, still to be seen. We've just experienced Stanley Park. We haven't even seen uh, Coal Harbor and everything else that needs to be seen from this point. Yeah, so it's going to be a good little show. Yeah. Once you get and up then there. it turns into park drive ahead. Okay, this is just too confusing. Yeah, too many road names. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Like Camby Street. Camby Street, uh, after the bridge, is a patchwork of all sorts of little jalebis and french fries 
that just doesn't make sense. Yeah, but it is true. what it is. When it gets to the downtown, it's a yeah. It's definitely a messy purple stew. It's like where does it go? Oh, it goes there. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, I can feel it by now. At this point, it's like, yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> it's definitely been a minute. Oh, we're up at the parking lot up here, so we're good. <laughs> uh, or the road. We're almost there. We'll be able to see the Art Deco Lions at the Lionsgate Bridge. Capilano bus. Yeah, that comes all the way from Capilano Suspension Bridge. It's free to ride, right? I believe so. You can get on over like at Canada on, Place in the downtown core. Yeah, that too. Speaking of Beaver, that bus is showing a sorry sign. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not in service. <laughs> sorry, not sorry is Demi Lovato. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Demi Lovato. They are in. Is, is, is she? Is, is they a they or did they get no, back to No, they are she? she again right there. Oh, okay. But whatever you want to call yourself, happy to happy to follow that. I guess that uh, um, uh, whole throw your Karen scandal thing washed away, so <laughs> she became a she from a day again, <laughs> which was quite interesting. Like you know, when the scandal and cancellation comes in. At this you, point, if she's already declared a day, I'm going to use they. So they going forward. Very flip flopping around. Fine, yeah. If you're going to flip flop, I'm going to just use they. Work diva. Uh -huh. Someone's unfortunately car It's like broke someone's out. car is overheated. And that happens. <laughs> I had a car that used to overheat all the time. And that was his last days before I got a new car. I, I think we're officially entering the bridge. And I don't drive anymore. That was way back in the day. Almost. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see the bridge. Oh, you can see it? Then we're heading towards the bridge, yeah. And some more of the cut. Right there. When you think of Stanley Park, you do think of it as a park filled with nature, and it is. But it's also a manicured garden. And has a giant highway in the middle. Uh-huh, so it's a mix of it, all those different things. But a great place to come nonetheless. You might as well call Stanley Park versatile. She's a verse. <laughs> One of the true verses. <laughs> Stanley Park does it everything. Beaches, mountain, trees, lake, beaver, <laughs> not the Justin kind, regular beaver lake. Yeah, regular beaver. <laughs> beaver lake. So oh, yeah. the signals back to strong. That's good. And really that's the little bridge down. where I took uh, made the videos for Go 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 last time yeah. on top of. Oh, really? Over there? Yeah, I remember when you walked on over there. You put those on uh, your TikTok, eh? Tickety talkity. Tickety talkity, and also definitely on uh, regular YouTube. Yeah, I got a TikTok too. Yeah, tickety talkity, tickety talk. Yeah. At Jay Forrest. And you can find me in every platform. Well, not every platform. You can find me on TikTok and YouTube at. Go, 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 BC. Oh, go, go, yeah, go, yeah. BC. One word. Understood. That's not hard. Yeah. That's easy. It's go in repetition three times with the word BC. Mm -hmm. And you do a lot of different filming, right? So, like, everything from different transit routes, um, buses and stuff like that, to major infrastructure like this bridge here, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this bridge happens to be one of the most highly featured Canadian uh, landmarks in American culture and history because this That's bridge true. plays a decoy to Golden Bridge, bridge uh, San Francisco's uh, bridge. Is it the same designer? I guess it is the same designer, but yeah, it you has can look that similarities. Up, folks, You'll see plenty of movies and shows being filmed here. Oh, These yeah. iconic lions are famous, famous. Oh, with Adobe? Adobe uh, Premiere Pro and its AI program, you could probably now turn that bridge red if you wanted to. <laughs> and now we're under a different bridge? So we're, yeah, under the walking path bridge. And 
here we are. You can see the lion if you got really good eyes up ahead there. Yeah. And lots of flowers out. Lots of these yellow daffodils out here. Very, very appropriate. Beautiful. Hey, I heard that Ramadan's ended and Eid's starting tomorrow or something like that. Yeah, right? tomorrow's Eid in Canada. Oh, well, happy Eid to everyone who's going to be celebrating that. Wishing you the best. I know that is uh, that, that is your New Year's. <laughs> no, not New Year's. Or not New Year's? That is not a that. New Year. That's like the oh, Muslim well, Christmas. Uh -huh. um, Anyways, it yeah. is a very special event. So wishing you a happy Eid. Religious festival, but yeah, not a New Year. Well, very cool otherwise, you know. Yeah. And I will be celebrating Eid with Asa and uh, definitely enjoying the food and uh, being around family. Yeah, let's get on that bridge. Oh, check this out first, though. Look at this right here. <laughs> this is the lion at the Lion's Gate Bridge. Is that not awesome? And look at this, this is the shot right here. There you are. Can't put it any further out there, otherwise it'd be problematic. Yeah, go right ahead, feel free. Just as to it. And over there, they got another one. You can check that one out on that side if you want. And there's a bridge that you can follow and take it off. The path is just a, a loop around and in. Bike. Okay. We'll be sharing the path with bikes, so we got to be careful now on this yeah, side. Yeah, there is a separation. You want to go ahead of me? Yeah, I'd love to go ahead. Thank you. Oh, look at that, people. Here we are. Stairs down the seawall. Yeah, and there's the underneath of the bridge. Hey, Jefferson, nice to see you. Yeah, we're on the Lionsgate Bridge. So we'll stay on this side, and the bikes will go on that side. <laughs> and Asa's volume might be bigger or smaller right now, so just because of the, the situation we're on, so I'll keep walking ahead. And it's good to see you, Jefferson, on the stream as well. Daniel's on the stream too. And while we're walking across the Lionsgate Bridge here, if you want to support the channel, Feel free to hit that dollar sign or monetary symbol on the YouTube panel right now for the live stream. You can send me a super chat or a super sticker. And if you're watching the recording of the video afterwards, you can send me a super thanks by hitting the heart sign with the monetary symbol in it. And then finally, if you want to donate directly to the channel, you can donate directly through Interact eTransfer at my email address, jforestwith at gmail.com. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty nice bridge. I have to admit, you're going to have to change the camera angle as we're moving along here. I think there's a plane taking off over there. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a plane right there for you. Yeah, it's starting to come into view. Just gonna wait. <laughs> Downtown Don saying, what's on the north end of the bridge? <laughs> or what's on the north end you're going to? Oh, here comes the plane again. Flying over the bridge, right? We're going over to Park Royale. Good question. Okay, walk over here by the wall. There's spots where you can stop, like that guy right there. So we're gonna stop over there. Yeah, Ass is on the stream as well. They're just walking single file right now to give space for the cyclist.
And here we are. Look at this. Wow. So here's Stanley Park right on this side here. Okay. And I'll just shift. And you can see the downtown in the background there. And then there's the Port Authority, that orange spot. And then in the back there, those big tires in the back there, that's all the way over in Burnaby. And then finally, you can even see the Iron Gate Bridge that goes from Burnaby over to Lynn Valley, right? So way in the background there. Down over here is part of the Port Authority and then finally part of the reserve as well. Okay, let's keep going. There's another spot up here, so we'll stop the cat in a minute or two. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Oh yeah. And look at that mountain too, eh? I love it when you walk here on a clear day. <laughs> you get this like really I think this nice... will be your best uh, landscape bridge video till date because you get so much of this, like all of this, this entire sis, uh, situation is just so cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Bell or yell when you're passing. <laughs> and there you guys go, another view. It's gonna be safe with the camera right now. It's quite a hike to get here, so I am a little tired. Oh yeah, Lionsgate Bridge, this is awesome. This is a cable suspension bridge. You can see that from the cables that are holding the bridge up and attached at the bottom here with the bottom connections. Just pass her really carefully. A lot of these cyclists who bike this bridge are experienced cyclists, so they're pretty good at passing you. But just like I said, you stay on this side if you're a walker, and that gives the bikes on that side a little more room to cross, because it is quite tight. <laughs> Thanks, Jefferson. <laughs> Jefferson just saying, nice, nice city, bro. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it too. We are on the North Vancouver side of the Lionsgate Bridge, but this is also the border between North Vancouver and West Vancouver. So this is heading insane. over to West Vancouver. I've traveled this bridge so many times. Walking it is a completely different experience. Oh yeah. And because it's a, like West a wild uh, cable and span bridge, it does shake uh, mildly. So it's oh, yeah. minimal right now, but with strong winds, there are always a uh, warning. So be fully aware of that. There is a bounce to it. There is a definite bounce. And there's that old uh, railroad that we saw on a video the other day. Yeah. We keep walking here on the Lionsgate Bridge. There's another lookout spot not too far away from here. Another People minute or literally two. cattle off their offsprings on these bikes, eh? Nice. <laughs> oh, they'll do everything. If they need to carry the kid, Vancouver parents are great parents. That's what you do, you know? Uh, this is the, like, again, I've never really, I've seen few, but never really seen a lot of parents uh, riding with their kids on the same bike. Vancouver, this is a norm, not an exception. This is the norm. If you have a young kid, you're expected to ride on a little bike with this. Mm -hmm. Even Dangerous Dave, who bikes in these mountains uh, over here, on his mountain bike, sometimes he'll take his kid. He has a little seat for the kid and stuff like that, too. Yeah. That's just uh, awesome when he needs to, when he's in charge of the kid at that point in time. It's nice taking a break, such is life. <laughs> Still got to make those YouTube videos. If you are hearing the yelling, it's just to give everyone a notification they're coming through. So there's not a problem. It's you either yell or you bell, which means you hit a bell. And we'll stop at that next lookout spot in a minute. And we'll 
showing you a little bit more of the view. <laughs> There's a bump ahead of us, you can see. Signs for the bikes that are coming on through. And there's the bell. So you either bell or yell. And those folks are just past, just past us, they bell. So. <laughs> so we do appreciate it, either belling or yelling. There's some folks on the other side of the bridge right there, making their way across. There's the other lookout point. Yeah. Hey, where was my bell or my yell? I want my bell or yell. <laughs> and here you go. There you can see more Stanley Park in the Vancouver downtown over here. And again, the Port Authority. You can even see a tugboat in the water right now. It's probably coming over. And if you had really good eyes, you might also see the uh, ferry, the sea bus heading over to the ferry terminal. Of course, you get another view, a nice little view west of North Vancouver over here, okay? And these towers, they're for North Vancouver, but the houses in front of them are part of the Squamish Reserve. Reserve. Squamish Reserve number five, I believe. But you can check that out, double check that out on Google Maps. Keep going. Love Vancouver. It is so different from, and Metro Vancouver especially. It's so different from Metro Toronto and just Toronto itself, where I used to live. My old hometown, of course. I used to live over here over 21 years ago as well for a little bit. And uh, definitely enjoyed my time here, but uh, I got the opportunity to come back to Vancouver. Wow. We just jumped at the chance. This is just amazing. I, I always feel at home here in the mountains. And if you got a nice job and you're good to go, uh, this is a, a nice place to live. So, definitely something to look forward to. I'll keep walking here on the Lion Cape Bridge. Heading on our descent right now. And we'll be heading over to Park Royale. How far away was the mall from here? How far? Once we're down at the foot of the bridge here, we can take a path that'll take us to the back of the mall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or we can take the longer path that'll no, take us around no, and over. Whatever the shorter path, that's for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've been on top of this uh, long ass bridge, so you know, <laughs> kind of getting a little parched. Yeah, well, let's head on over to Park Royale and get, some, get something to drink. Sounds like a great idea. And grab a bite too, maybe some Popeyes. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> oh, we miss hey, Popeyes. Nice to see I mean, they're you. over in UBC and downtown, but like, we don't really eat Popeyes a lot here. Oh, yeah. There's so there many are... other options. We have frying pan down in Denman, Church's Chicken down in Fraser Street. Chicken World on Kingsway as well as Denman Street. Yeah, so much, so much. And if you're on uh, UBC campus, of course, cannot forget Download Chicken. Oh, yeah, that's also the commercial drive. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to be careful right now. <laughs> yeah, gotta look around where we're walking. It hey, is Big again. G, the nice to see you. Downtown bridge. Don's here, as well as Jefferson. Okay. And folks, and, it's a busy uh, bridge. Daniel Lots of well. people on their cycles. Good to see you on the street too. Yeah, there is a lot of road noise here, so we're just doing our best with what we got. <laughs> You gotta go where the footage is, and sometimes you gotta deal with the surrounding sound. 
especially when it's in real life, IRL. <laughs> that building has 100 Park Royal written on it in big letters, so you know exactly what it is. Yeah. Look at those mountains. More bikes continue to flood this teeny tiny, teeny tiny bike it's path. It's gorgeous over here. Yeah, it's tight on both sides, though, so you don't really have a choice, you know? This is my favorite part of the bridge and you start passing there's no longer big uh, giant parts of the bridge in front of the mountain view. So you get to see a bit more here. Some of our local athletes. Folks from firefighters. Running across the bridge. Oh, more cycles coming. Mm -hmm. Again, people as uh, Oh it yeah, gets, this uh, is the work rush now. <laughs> yeah. People heading home from work, downtown Vancouver or somewhere else yeah. in Vancouver back to West Van, North Van, somewhere in Capilano, who knows? Big G is like a cool walk every time, dude, with the cruise ship going on there. No, not yet, but uh, that's actually a good idea. But that's a... <laughs> with a full, uh, sorry, be beautiful weather like today's, yeah. I wouldn't uh, fault anybody for thinking about bringing cycles, even if it's a longer uh, commute, because it's beautiful out today. Yeah, it'd be awesome to do this on a scooter too, eh? That would definitely be cool. That would be cool, but this uh, journey would be way shorter. Yeah. <laughs> that is for sure. <sighs> Probably be like 20 minutes long. <laughs> 20 minutes from like where we started down to the uh, bottom of this bridge probably. Keep walking here. Good question, Big G, though. And immediately you're back in, uh, is this West Van? Yeah. This single family homes here, or is, like tiny North homes Van. in West Van. Actually, no, these single family homes, that's the Squamish Number 5 Reserve. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you can't actually walk there because uh, they like to keep the to themselves. It's their place, it's their reserve. Yeah, it's what's been absolutely. Used what they have so they have signs there just asking you respect of course if you have friends in there and stuff like that and you're visiting their, your friends I'm sure there's like there's not going to be a problem or anything like that but uh, they do ask you to respect that with the signs that are outside of the reserve and there's a little nature trail that goes along the side of the reserve that you can go down if you want to take a closer look at some of those houses and of course you can look at them from the bridge too Part of West Vancouver on that side for you. Now going up this uh, bridge Royal. is gonna be a little tough, but going down is so exhilarating. <laughs> Probably makes up for it, and it's also a long descent. So yeah, you enjoy that little yeah, rush as you go down. Yeah, for the week, eh? <laughs> uh oh, the out migration has started as well for the people that work on the this side of the bridge. <laughs> Heading home, you can see the cars are starting to pile up. Oh yeah! Some people actually work on this side that of the bridge side and is go a back to Vancouver. Lane. Yeah, that I side know. of the bridge is a single lane. This bridge needs and buses need... get priority. Yeah, but because this is the big link, and you access Alaska through this thing, oh, yeah. this should be at least a six-lane bridge. It should be, but it isn't, and it's probably not going to happen for a long time if it ever does. I think they're just waiting for the next 50 or so years when the big one, if it ever hits, hits, and then probably build something new. <laughs> That's a theory. It's definitely a theory. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why have progress roads and bridges? Those are like, you know, weird words. We that might bring more people to the city and hence bring more people willing to build housing. In a country that issues. touts of being so much about, you know, inclusivity, homes, diversity, people moving in, immigrants, not building enough homes, that's, that's like building people in a cold icebox and leaving them out in the cold to die. So we need homes. <laughs> and bridges and roads. And we'll keep walking here on the bridge right now. There is a bell, yay! I love it. I want to hear either a yell or a bell. Give me a yell, yell or a bell. bell. All these people Give passing me a yell. Give me a bell. 
give me I feel like I've owned a yellow baby. or a bell, you know, as a give pedestrian. Me a give me a bell. Give there me something. There you can something. see some more of the reserve over there. Yeah. And the towers in the background are North Vancouver. And if you uh, can see down there, there's some people walking in. In a park, it looks like a friend walking with one of the local residents. So that's the thing. Like if you're with a friend or something like that, it's a it's a little different. But uh, we choose to respect the signs and not go in there. You can definitely look if you're here on the bridge. Let's keep walking. Of course, if you're walking across the bridge here, if you're driving across the bridge here, you can head on over to. Uh, Horseshoe Bay, and you can take one of the sea ferries, the BC sea ferries, all the way across to Nanaimo or Gibson's Island. I believe it also goes to Burrard Island. So actually what we do here is we just go this way. And that's the end of the Road mm -hmm. to Landscape Bridge. You gonna finish here? I'm gonna finish it up uh, when we go down, down. Okay. And there's a public path that heads this way too on this side of the reserve. There's also a camping ground. Just finish up however you like. I can wait at the bottom. House is just finishing up one of his videos <laughs> right now. And then we'll head on over to uh, Park Rail for you folks on the live stream. So this is a public road here you can head on down, but you are on the reserve technically. Okay. And this is one of the places where they allow you to go through. Fine, and this is the nature trail as well, right here. And it loops down along the bridge and then around. So we'll come on over here and we'll hit the sign so that people know we're crossing. And the bridge and the lights light up, and we cross and then we keep going. I'm gonna finish it here, <laughs> but we stay out of that area over there because there's a private property sign. And as you vloggers, we're just gonna respect that. Ooh, that was a nice one. Oh wow, look at the mountain view That was view long. Down here. I'm probably gonna chop it up into four videos. Oh, that would be awesome. Different sections. Capilano River RV Park. Yeah, this is the RV park right on over here. And there's a totem pole by the gate of that one. Of course, <laughs> we're on the reserve. <laughs> I can't remember the name of this road right here, but there is a name. You can check it on Google Maps. Yeah, give me a second. My nose is dripping because, uh, again, not somebody who was born and raised here, so my body oh. needs to take a second. When temperature is changing because we're at different and elevations. elevation change. Yeah. Not just temperature, elevation changes too. <laughs> Ash is going to figure out where we exactly are in a minute or two. So just be Oof, yeah, after walking that much, my brain is basically <laughs> shuttered. <laughs> We are on Taylor Way. Oh, cool. So we are. So on again, Way. for the Swifties out there, we named this Taylor Way. So you know, Eros Concerts coming to Vancouver. We <laughs> wanted Taylor to come in the city. Ah. That's how we booked Taylor Swift. It's Taylor Way. <laughs> Probably not named after Taylor Swift, but it is Taylor Way. Let's stop here for a second. Oh, beautiful. This is the Cavalano River right Jesus. here for you guys. Christ, this is beautiful. We'll take another look on the other wow. side. Wow. So beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful. A lot of water right now. The river now. meeting Pacific Ocean. This is mm -hmm. insane. And I'm assume, assuming uh, salmons swim over this river? Yeah, it does dry up though in the summertime. It gets pretty dry. There's a trickle that allows through. We do get power from this on this side of the city from this stream hydropower 
produced for all of Metro Vancouver. Yeah. Let's head on over to that I shady section. I have always wished to be on that bridge, but is that a train bridge? That's a train bridge, so you can't go across that yeah. bridge. Well, I did this one. I've seen this yeah. one from the uh, uh, from uh, Lionsgate Bridge, so I noticed this particular one. Mm -hmm. But you have a nice shot of the bridge from here. Look, yeah, okay. we were up there. We were way up there, and look at how powerful these currents are. Bridge, yeah. Look how strong it the current is. It can get very currently there. There's a lot of good fishing spots right there, and on a Saturday you'll see a lot of them. And this is part of the RV park as well, but this is the more permanent part where people got houses. Okay, so you got to inquire with the RV park about It is that. strange, and the water is so if clear. The water is so clear, because it is from a waterfall, yeah. right? Yeah, well, it's coming all the way from the mountains. That's where it's coming from. Yeah, and it is so clean. And uh, coming also from that, uh, uh, from up by the Cleveland Dam. And that's why oh, the yeah. Cleveland Dam there for yeah, hydropower that's, uh, generation. Metro vans, uh, yeah, water mm -hmm. reserve. Yeah, and we walked ourselves right there to Park Royal somehow. Interesting. Mm -hmm. huh. So here we are over at Park Royal. So I guess on a scooter, this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh yeah, that's not a problem in any way, shape, or form. Yeah? <laughs> Easy way for anybody who's on a cycle or a scooter or anything to just to get on and drive up here. There's a Best Buy, Cineplex, so lots of stuff going on over here. Yeah, let's go around to the uh, around to one of the more frontish entrances. Let's just enter somewhere and just sit down because again, yeah. There's a there's a Dollarama entrance right there. <laughs> Let's cross this uh, this little part. The village, Simon Cineplex, Cineplex Cinema Osaka. Why does it <laughs> named Osaka for some reason? I have no idea. I have no idea. No idea. So here we are in one of the parking lots. I think we can head up there and then. Uh, whatever it is. Let's go through the Dollarama though to be easier. Can we walk through here? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Bad drivers just scare me. <laughs> so I I feel weird walking around parking lots in anywhere in Canada or mostly in uh, Vancouver and BC. Worst drivers in all of Canada, without a doubt. I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen all of Canada yet. I'm pretty sure if you go to somewhere like Winnipeg or Montreal, you might find somebody worse, but... So far, in my experience, the worst drivers in all of Canada right here, folks. I think... Okay. Yeah? Can we get to the other side? Or is it a dead end? I've never been. That's Winners, I'm pretty it. sure, has a end, but do, do they allow us just to get in? I think so. There's a local winners right now, just trying to find their way into the larger part of the mall. Yeah, let's head on over right now. Do you see an entrance there? <laughs> and we have to go up and through Best Buy. I have done that before. Let's see your typical mall section. Oh, okay. We're good? Yeah, this way. Awesome. So we'll head on out of here and into the main part of the mall. And Winners is a discount store. And it gets items from all over from liquidators. No exit. We can go this way. Come. Exit here. Whoops. Wrong side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this way. Oh, man. Understood. Understood. <laughs> well, now you I know. I just wanted to get out of the main body of the store. <laughs> and we're here. Here we are. Park Royale. So oh. Welcome to a Park Royale. <laughs> Jeez Louise, we are spent, we are bent, we have walked quite a bit 
And uh, just do a quick yeah. loop just to the other side of this big <laughs> section. Just to get more, a little bit of the inside of the mall. We'll do the main drag and then we'll go and get some drinks. Uh, let's go up to the food court and then walk down there. Is there another side? It's better if we go this way, babe. Okay. We're going to see more of the mall if we go this way. There's, of course, a Michael Hill where we yeah. got this one. This is where we got our rings. Oh, I guess lots of folks have sales going on, including H&M. Yeah. &M. This sure. mall's never seriously packed except around Christmas time. So, yeah. But it always has people in it, frequently going through. So all the stores do get uh, a regular business and they just you know, keep making sales as they move along. This oh. is, uh, also has a mix of high-end stores and uh, more uh, middle class stores. There's Tommy Bahama there. Uh, some people over on the East Coast may remember Tommy Bahama. It's not there anymore, but it's still over here. And uh, here's Eddie Bauer, one of our local brands, or one of our brands that you can see all over Canada. Yeah, all over Canada, sorry. <laughs> Oi. Hey, you can just see some of the signs that are going along here. So we'll just walk down to oh, just yeah. that end right there and then finish on up for you. Just give you this section of the mall to see on your own. So we'll go to the Simons and then stop, okay? <gasps> mm -hmm. It's pretty chill today here. Yeah, it has been pretty chill. It is the middle of a work week, so. Well, it's an awesome opportunity to do just a vertical live stream and reach out to some folks. Looks like some of the shops are just closing up. The CIBC is already shutting up. And the weekend will be open much later. Here's the munchies right here. We can get a drink right in here if you want. Just finish it. Yeah. So I think we'll just finish it right on over here. Have a seat. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> We're tired, folks. We're tired. We literally walked across a bridge. <laughs> so anyways, folks, thanks for coming along.